popsicle time. What kind do you want, Manny? I'm going grape, grape outshine bar. I'm out of lemon pearls. You want grape, watermelon, peach? Watermelon? I got watermelon. Okay. Give me a popsicle, Tom. I got watermelon. Watermelon. Here comes Ty. It's a hot, sunny day. Yeah, it is. I'm happy about the sunshine. Yeah, me too. Y'all, Tyler got here just in time. I was under attack by a praying mantis. It was on my back. Sissy saw it, and she was like just very casual. Uh, there's a praying mantis on your back. That's creepy. <laughs> I mean, I don't care that those things look like they're praying. They're still creepy, and so I went running over there to Tyler, and I was like, get this praying mantis off my back. Now there's a gnat trying to get me. The sunshine's back, but so are all the bugs, and they're attacking us. Okay, we need to do a little food prep this afternoon. I need to slice this watermelon, this cantaloupe. We also need to wash and slice these mushrooms for to go with supper tonight. We're having Texas Roadhouse hamburger steaks. They call them roadkill. We're gonna call them Roadhouse hamburger steaks. And we need to shred the cheese for that. I wanna shred the cheese. You do? Yeah. We have Monterey Jack that I we're gonna shred do. up. We need to slice this onion for that and we're gonna make a banana cream pie for dessert, but I'm waiting on my Cool Whip to finish thawing out for that. So we'll go ahead and do all this, then we'll make the pie. It's a very quick, very easy pie. Can I build these parts? Yeah. We'll also go ahead and form the hamburger steak patties. That way, when it's time to cook, all the prep work is done for us. We're gonna make them on the Blackstone. And I'm still trying to decide. We have lots of cucumber salad left over, so we're gonna have that with it. I'm checking to see if I have any of those little potatoes. If I do, we'll make smashed potatoes. If not, I'll just make some tater tots or something, or hash browns to go with them. We don't have any of the little ones, so we'll do tater tots or hash browns. Cece's There's got the onion ready. I got those things once. There's one I was a little kid. You did when you were a little kid? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm a big boy. I don't think we're gonna need all these mushrooms because not everybody likes them, so we'll just do about half. Mama, look at this. What? Sissy just built it. Yeah, she did. Mm -hmm. This cheese is easy to shred. It was kind of soft. It's been sitting out for a minute. <laughs> Manny's got the cheese done. I don't think I've ever even eaten at a Texas Roadhouse before. This roadkill hamburger steak looks pretty good. So yeah, we'll just call it Roadhouse hamburger steak. Okay, onions are ready. You like mushrooms, Manny? Nah. Okay. <laughs> I like cheese though. Yeah. They always need triangles, sissy. You want a piece, Manny? Nah. No? No watermelon? Oh, you're still over there with the cheese. We better hide that cheese or we won't have any for supper. Y'all, I got the hamburger steaks shaped up and in the refrigerator. Now, I think that the whipped topping, oh yes, we are ready. It's thawed enough to make the banana cream pie. This is called an old-fashioned banana cream pie. I'm not sure really why it's called old-fashioned because when you think old-fashioned, you think, you know, made from scratch, homemade yummy. pudding and everything. <laughs> yeah, you think it's yummy. But this one is really, really easy. It does look very old-fashioned though. Maybe that's why they call it old-fashioned. Looks like you spent a lot of time on it. So we have the graham cracker crust. I'm just going to sit it over to the side for a minute. We're going to bring over a bowl and put in this whole package of instant vanilla pudding mix. This is a 3.4 ounce pack. And we're putting in one cup of milk. Just one cup. The box I think calls for like two or three for that size pudding mix. Where's your milk? I think it's in the refrigerator. Okay, we're gonna put half a teaspoon of vanilla. 
This is gonna get really thick as it sits because we only put the one cup of milk. So you wanna work kinda quick here. Get that vanilla mixed in and then we're gonna fold in one container of the thawed whipped topping. Now I have a made from scratch banana cream pie and that thing y'all, oh my goodness. It is amazing, it definitely takes a little more time than this one, but it is worth it if you have the time. I'll link that video down below. It definitely tastes like you just walked up into grandma's house. There's still a few little frozen spots in my cool whip there. Okay, now we're just gonna sit this in the refrigerator while we slice the bananas. Sissy's gonna do that. Okay, so I think we're just gonna need two bananas instead of three. Okay, we're ready to layer this up. We're putting in half of the pudding mixture. Now we're gonna put a layer of bananas. Now the rest of the pudding mixture. Okay, the last thing is more whipped topping on the top. And you won't use a whole container, you know, you just put just enough to cover the top and then this is going in the refrigerator for at least two hours. Ours will be in there longer than that but you want to refrigerate it at least two hours before you try to slice into it. I'm trying to decide if I want to do the peaks or the waves. I think we'll go with waves. Looks summery like the ocean. Sissy is now placing the mint leaf on the top. Perfect, see that? People will think you spent all day in the kitchen making this creation and it only took 10 minutes. <laughs> well, it's gotta go in the refrigerator for a while, but it only took you 10 minutes. start with the hash browns. We're just using the southern style hash browns. Hey Mr. Bird! That one sounded nice. Nicer than that one yesterday. That one yesterday was a little scary. We're just gonna dump the whole bag on here. Great value. I think I'll put a little bit of salt. Oh you know what? I forgot y'all was gonna put some of that chopped steakhouse chopped seasoning on the hamburger steaks and I forgot. We'll sprinkle a little bit of it on there. I might put some of it on these hash browns too. It's this Steak King Chop House Blend. We'll just sprinkle a little bit of this on the hash browns. And I'll leave it out because I'll probably put some on the hamburger steaks too. The hash browns are what is going to take the longest. So that's why I started them first. We'll call these Steakhouse Hash Browns. How about that? Okay, hash browns are done. Onions are going on here. Mushrooms going here. What we're making tonight? Hamburger. Well, it's uh, actually called Roadkill, but I changed the name to, uh, what did I tell you? Roadhouse. Ah! Hamburger steaks because they're from Texas Roadhouse. Just three with mushrooms. And then we put cheese on the top. Got any 57s? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm all out of 57. I have a one. Got a one? Uh huh. Well, thank you. <laughs> smells um, good. It's supposed to blow the hot out. Mm -hmm. Is it good? You forgot to blow the hot out, is what Manly said, but is it good? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
That's great. If it's three mm, it's great. Mm -hmm. That means great.